Hey guys, welcome back to Eddie Family Farm. If this is your first time clicking on a video, thank you so much for coming over and checking our family out. Um, this, this channel, you're going to see just the everyday life of uh, a family that lived in the city and moved out to the country and started a farm. And um, there's ups and downs, but hey, we wanna thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. Uh, yeah, there's ups and downs, but we get through them every day. Today is an exciting day. Well, every day is exciting. You wake up. Um, that's, that ought to be uh, pretty exciting to everyone. And uh, sometimes I have to remind myself that because um, we go through the day, you know, worrying about our problems and what's going on. And we ought to just be thankful that we woke up today. So we're walking back out here to the area where the shed or the barn is going to be built. The uh, uh, contractor will be here today. So we are going to be breaking ground on the barn, not the house. We're breaking ground on the barn, not the house. My brother came over and helped us out with the pad and stuff. I um, went and got the box blade from Marie. And uh, now I've just been kind of going around and uh, leveling this all out, trying to smooth it out. I'm waiting on the... Uh, the contractor or welder um, we call I call him the welder guys because he did a uh, fence but he's at the store right now getting some pipe and um, yeah it's ought to be an exciting day uh, we'll get to see some work going in on the pose uh, I don't know how much I'll get done today but we'll see um, hope each and every one of y'all enjoy our videos thank y'all so much we love y'all and uh, if you're new, drop a comment, let us know where you're from. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this rest of this smoothed out and I'll show you a little bit of it. I will say that it looks much better than it did the other day. Um, this is the first time I've really used a box blade and I think I got it figured out. So we're gonna try to finish. All right, so, all right, so the contractors, welding guy, they just showed up. They're getting ready to drop the metal, and I'm going to go find a auger so they can actually drill down it, or aug down. That way they don't have to dig it by uh, post hoe. And yeah, so it ought to be pretty exciting. I know we're excited that's fix, all fixing and go on, and uh, we got the poles and everything over here, and uh, I don't know can't believe it's already here but we'll see how it goes all right guys so we got that pretty level um austin said that uh as soon as uh, they get started back here uh, he'll mark it out where the building is going to be um, we may break, put a little bit more dirt on that end but um like i told him that you know i made it really big so it wasn't the uh, size of the building there's a little bit of overhang on each side so they unloaded the metal they went back and looked at um, the deals we're going the panels that we're going to build the shop out of barn whatever you want to call it and um, but the i told them uh, when we got started on this that we needed something up at the front gate um, we got to have something that we can actually put our mail in anyway so when we first contacted him we got to have something up front here um, that we can put our mail in that way they can start delivering the mail to our home and uh, we can put a mailbox out front but our main deal is boxes left down here we don't want to get wet or we don't want to get them stolen so we come up with the ideal and uh, me and him kind of worked on the deal and he found a box and he's going to actually uh, mount it on here and it, it'll show you where it's actually going to be. So He's going to come over here and we're going to mount it somewhere in this area right here. Well, right here actually you can see his marks that he's putting um, along right here. And that box is going to be put over here on this side and 
That way when UPS, um, FedEx, anybody pulls up, um, I'll put it on this side because the drivers are on this side. They can get our boxes and open it up, put our boxes in it, and then we're going to have locks up here for them to put a lock on it and lock it just in case we're not home. And this box that he's gonna be using, I'll show you that here in a minute as well. It's uh, basically a box that goes on flatbed. Um, I remember them on like a wrecker. When I used to work on a wrecker, run a wrecker, uh, we had them on the rowback. But they're, they're flat and I think it's gonna be more than enough uh, for the boxes. Cause if we get some kind of big box come in, usually we know. So he's gonna mount it here, uh, he's getting, things together and getting all of his stuff ready and uh, if I catch it in time I might show a little bit of it uh, other than that um, later on like I said uh, in a video before later on we're probably going to get him to run um, a fence all the way down to the end and we will most likely go along that fence and put the panels up like that I like that it's time consuming and it costs a little bit more but I really like how nice it is um, you know, one thing I didn't think about, but it's okay, is uh, we can come back and we gotta paint this, but I don't wanna paint it right now. Um, Cause when it started getting cold when they put this up and uh, when it starts warming up, we can get it painted, so. All right guys, we made it back up here to take a look, see how they're done, doing good. They've already got this part actually cut out here and that box is gonna sit right here and they're actually bringing it over here right now. So showed up just in time it's really windy steph's got the mic so we'll see what it looks like They shouldn't have a problem reaching over. I can even extend them links where I can help them more. That's, that's what I'll do. Yeah. They don't have a problem. Yeah. Just drop it over it through here. Yeah. That look good. On your lock. Uh, you might put your lock right here on the side. That's fine. Okay. They won't be able to get in it. Yeah. Yeah. You can run that conduit right up that leg I'm about to put there. Uh huh. And get one. I got the size sleeve things that go in here. Yeah. You can run it right in there and you can have like a little section in here for your batteries. I mean, look and see. Divider right there or something. Yeah. Put your batteries boom, 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 boom. I might have to look at that. Yeah. I like that. that that's, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. That does. We're gonna, I'll pack every single one of them through the box. Okay. We don't have any of them moving or anything. Yeah, that looks good. That's what it's gonna look like. That looks good. All right, guys, so uh, they're still working on the, the gate up here, but we're going to come up here. Uh, we went and got the Marie's auger, and uh, we're gonna drop the trailer. You're gonna unhook it first, son. You gotta unhook this. Oh. Why do you have the It's going to be in the auger down in the, oh. the pose. So, we're gonna unhook the trailer. We gotta run to town. We gotta get some acid. And, um, we're gonna, we're gonna come back and we're gonna acidize his, all of his traps and, and wax them, uh, hopefully tomorrow. So, um, we got a full day's, uh, exciting things to do around the farm. I'm trying to, lower this so the wind don't isn't so bad uh, we got a lot of stuff to do so stay tuned all right guys so we just got back from town and we'll show you what we got here in just a second but um well actually um what did we get we got uh acid yeah we got acid we got some traps. acid for the trap so we're going to go around and collect all the traps uh means that we caught a skunk we're just going to go ahead and acid all the traps and then we're going to put some wax on them and, and just redo the traps right yeah okay so reset them. 
we're going to go up and uh, gather them all up. So if you've never seen them, uh, now here's the deal. Uh, they make several ways to do it. Uh, actually, uh, what do they call it, the traps, you know, uh, prepare the traps. I know Daniel had a, um, some liquid stuff that he used, but there's other ways to do it. And this is the way we choose to go ahead and do it. I'll get them all up here. And what we're going to do is just take, take the, the anchor. I ain't going to take I the mean, anchor. not the anchor, but just like. Take this little deal. Yeah, the swivel. Do we want to leave the swivel on it? I said just leave the swivel here. Or you can leave it on it also, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we just got to make sure we know where they're at when we come back to set them. Because those anchors, they're so hard to pull out of the ground, you'll break your back trying to pull them out of the ground. Or break the trap. Or break the trap. We've done that before. Yep. So we're going to uh, just stack them up back here. And then when we get done, we'll put them all in this bucket and we'll let them set for a day or so and probably um, actually get them out of the um, acid when Layton gets home from school. And I've got to get the incubator set tonight for Kaysen, so. One thing I don't like about Dukes is they have it on the side and it just like don't feel right. Oh wow. Nice duck. Which way does it go? I don't know, really. Mm. Golly. Did you just break that? Yeah. You're just gonna break it off? Yeah. I mean, we're not gonna use that thing anymore. Yeah, we got some extra ones, so we'll just use them. And that one was way too rusty. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to use that again. So the contractors are needing some water, but while we're back here, we better go get them some water because we got a few traps back here. They need a bucket of water. Need a little bit of drink. Look at Stevie. Stevie's over there itch, itching her booty. Stevie, does that feel good? Huh? Is that is that feel good? Does that feel good, girl? Huh? How are you, baby? Hi. She's that young pony's getting better. Is getting better. He's over here welding it all up now. He's already put the lock mechanism on here. So we can just open it up, put a lock on there, be good to go, lock our boxes up. I ain't got any water. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. He's going, said he's going to get the stuff set for the barn uh, the, where they're going to actually drill the hose and set the pose. So, I like the kid. He does honest work. And if I, I can guarantee you, if you're here in Oklahoma and you need work, he was in Tulsa working uh, when I started this project, talking to him about it. I guarantee you, I'll pick that battery box up. Get a hold of me, and uh, I can definitely put you in touch with this gentleman. 
he uh, he does good, honest work, and he's he, whatever he tells you, that's what it's going to be. I mean, that's that's amazing. Stevie, Stevie, you don't need that Amazon package. Stevie thought she got a package from Amazon. So we're going to go back here and get these last couple traps. That's starting to look pretty good. I got it all smoothed out this morning. Is that going to be there, our garage? That's going to be where we parked the tractor and everything. Oh, and then feeding stuff in it? No, we'll probably put uh, the round bells and stuff in it. Uh, oh, so like a barn? Yeah, it's just going to be a barn. barn. So we put the side by side tractor. So it's going to be that big? Yeah. That's how much dirt we took out of that side hill to build that up. That's crazy. All right, we're here at the trap. This took a lot of pain to go through with all these thorns. That pan is just sticking up up there. Oh, this is one of the good ones. Um, yeah, it's one of the good ones I like. Is that one you can actually take off? Yeah. We'll move on to the next one. He's got several traps, uh, but not all of them are the ones that you like using, right? What? We like using the ones with the offsets. Not all of his has offsets, so we try to use the ones that we have with the offset. I like that one. It's got an offset. Yeah, I like this one also. Right there. It's amazing what these things do, that acid does to these traps. Good thing is, is I think the only reason that that trap wasn't getting set off because there's mud in the side of it. Didn't we used to have a trap back here? I thought we did, but I th believe we moved them. I think so also. If we did, it's probably rusty. Look at that pretty green grass. What's up? What? What's that? That's a right. Oh, yeah? He had $20 and spent $11 on other people. Oh, really? Yeah. I got everybody one of these, a bunch of people on the bus. Well, that is very kind of you. Where'd Thank you get you. these at? Uh, at school. Second grade. So, so the other day uh, we took the kids to go bowling and stuff, and uh, just a stranger came up and gave him $20. And um, so you thought you'd just pay the favor and <coughs> give it to other people? Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so we're gonna try to get these uh, traps done and then get the incubators out and try to get those set up. So here we go. Hey guys, so we just made it up the house. We're hmm. doing, huh? Oh, what happened to your hand? I heard my hand at school. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. What'd you do, fall? Oh yeah, oh, on yeah. the rocks. A little bit rocked in the road. Oh, wow. Did it hurt? Oh, yeah. He's a strong boy, though, huh? Yeah. So we got the traps now. This is our acid bucket. And like I say, everybody does them different. Um, yeah, so Kaysen got a, a couple gifts in the mail. We'll show one of them right now, and then we'll show the other one later. Open it up, see what you got. Hold on. <laughs> you want me to read it? Mm. it? Says just a boy who loves chickens. Yeah, just a boy who loves chickens. There is no name on this, but whoever sent this to Kaysen, what do you want to say? Thank you. I like that shirt. That's pretty neat. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put this trash back here in the back. 
I'm wearing it right now because my shirt already ripped. Oh yeah, you want to wear it right now? Well, it's got all that blue. You got blue on blue. Here, um, we'll just stick it in Dad's truck. Yeah. What is that? This is acid. This is some very, very bad stuff. You do not touch this. This will hurt you very, very bad. And snakes. Yeah, and snakes. Rattlesnakes. Poison snakes. Really. Yeah, it will hurt you very, very bad. So, Dad's going to get all the traps here and lay them out. King I know I got so much junk in the back of here. You better go, go put your pew pew up in there in the shop real quick, okay? Well, this, I'll go through animals. Not animals, uh, bad animals. No, no, that won't. That's just to practice, to oh. teach you how to handle them, okay? I want to do uh, um, this right now because uh, I haven't practiced. Well, we got things we got to do, and then we can practice uh, whenever we get caught up, okay? Uh, we still got to go set some eggs, okay? Okay. Uh, All right. So we'll get these guys lined out here. I was pretty impressed the first time I seen this stuff work. I was amazed, to be honest with you. And we're going to go ahead and do this hit guy here, too, because uh, it needs, um, it's all rusted and messed up inside. It's good to do these every now and then. Um, like I say, we watched Daniel do his the other day, but he had some stuff he dipped his in. This is going to be a two process deal. Uh, girl, what you doing up here scaring me like I'm going to get her a... down cut my snack on there. It, it's fine. It's oh. a two process deal, but it's pretty cool to watch it uh, work. So, all right, I'm going to get some gloves on. I'm going to go over and get a couple gallons of uh, um, water. And then we'll come back and put a couple um, cups of that acid in there. And then we'll dip them in there and we will sit back and we'll let them soak for a day and a half. And we'll come back and uh, get them and bring them out and wax them. So um, it's a pretty neat process. Um, you see how dirty these guys are right now. Um, but I'll be right back. Hello. My dad go get some a gallon of water. Pretty neat, right? Oh, all of my goats. Huh? I could, uh, video, we gonna get some. Are Billy allowed to be out? Cause he jumped. Yeah, I call him Billy. Cause he always, Billy, Billy, chicken, Billy, chopper, bummer, Billy. And my dad coming back with a gallon of water. Hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. You know why I told the camera? What? Billy, Billy, chicken, Billy. Oh, yeah? All right, here we go. Let's see. We got a couple. We got two gallons. Uh, um, we got two gallons of water. And, and we're going to leave this on the ground. We got. And I ended up buying two gallons of this acid, but yeah. we only got to use um, a couple cups which I don't have a measuring deal, so I'm gonna do the best I can. And I would just recommend stay downwind from this acid. Casey, can go ahead and back up for Dad. Is that how people do it? Get a face mask and... All right, that's probably enough. A little, just a little bit. Back up this way, Casey. Uh. Okay. And y'all see these traps. I want to show you all these guys again. I'm just like blown away what this is going to do to them. Another thing we're going to do that Roger and them showed me is we're going to cut some of these off here real quick so they can actually hang out the bucket. Okay, I think we got seven of these. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're just going to put it in here. And I'm going to tie them onto this and I'm going to let them hang out the side. Let them hang out the side of the bucket. So I don't remember if they make 
anything when they put them right in there, but we'll see. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's already working. You see the bubbling? So what we're going to do is go ahead and, and drop the chain and everything all the way down in there. And we're going to leave this wire hanging out the side and we'll get it out in the morning. Look, that's crazy. It's already working. But tomorrow we'll come back and that thing will be completely clean. So we'll, we'll get this and we'll put this up so the animals can't get into it. I know where to put it. Same deal, I'm gonna. On the roof. On the roof. Where they can't take touch this, it. this, set it down in there. And the magic is already working. I was shocked last time because I was like, man, there's still dirt and stuff on them. And Roger and Ed um, actually told me, it's like, man, that don't matter. It's going to go. And uh, that's who I spoke with just a few minutes ago was Ed and um, getting information from Ed and Roger. They've helped us out tremendously with this trapping. And um, see how rusty that one is? That's crazy. So you got more water? Yeah, we got some more water. Um, I have to put some acid in here. Once again, sun go that way. So watch how fast it starts working in this. I don't know if you can see it. This is what blows my mind. Back up, son. Watch how fast, you see how clean that water is, right? And the magic is already starting. Holy moly. I know. Wait, did I change that color? Yep. And then when we pull them out tomorrow, they will be just like brand new. Uh uh Yep. When we pull them out tomorrow, you watch. They'll be just like brand new. Like cowboy. Yeah. Not really, because he's dirty, right? Mm-hmm. How many more you put in there? We're putting three in this one. That's it changing color. Because it's eating it's eating all this rust off. That's pretty neat, ain't it? That's eating the dust off. Yeah, it's eating all the all the rust off. Didn't like dust, right? Huh? Does the water like dust? No, rust. Rust? Yeah. What does rust mean? Uh, when you got metal and you leave it outside and it rains, it makes everything rusty. See how it's turning white here? Yeah. That means it's doing some working. Back up. May have to raise these guys up to set them down there together. At Just the same time, right? Um, we'll do this and what we'll do uh, tomorrow when we pull them out, we will neutralize uh, this acid and I'll show you or in the next video or it might be in this video, um, we'll neutralize the acid so uh, it won't harm anything. So I'm going to take these. Do it. What happened? Huh? What, what, what happened to it? It will disappear. I'm going to put these. Uh, Will it uh, turn to a rock? I'm a hard rock. Get the camera, son, and follow me. So I'm gonna get these, and I'm gonna put them inside here so nobody can actually get to them. Go ahead and put this inside here. I just wanna put it inside here because I can close this, the animals can't get to it, and the kids can't get to it. So we'll get this, we'll clo close that up, and we'll be good to go. And um, You probably want to put, put a key on it. Oh, it's good for right now. I just don't, don't want the animals it. and stuff to it. But the, um, the, uh, the contractors just come by and uh, finished up there. So let's run up here and go take a look at uh, the new mailbox. All right, guys. We've been waiting for this for a good while to actually have a mailbox. mailbox. Um, 
And, and I mean, we could put a regular mailbox up there. That's no problem. The problem we have is boxes and stuff. And uh, you kind of see, if y'all walk, watch Walker Farm mm -hmm. Fam, they've got a big uh, metal deal at their gate as well they use, and it works pretty good. So that's kind of where I got the concept of it. Um, you know, Cassie and Gary's really good friends of ours, and we're just, the only thing we don't like about the whole situation is we all live three hours apart, but that's all right. We get to see them a couple times a year. Uh, I just really go up there to eat at my favorite restaurant, The Cottage. All right, we're pulling up, the gate's opening up, so we're gonna take a look at it and see what it looks on the outside. Wow. Wow, wow. Wait, how we open it? How I open it? So the postal man, I'll put the camera back here. So the postal man's gonna pull up and say, hey, I got a package for Captain Kaysen. And he's gonna open this up. It's got a latch over here. So we're gonna open it up, lift it, back up. And then he's gonna take his package, put it inside. And we're gonna shut it and, and put that rasp down there. And I'm gonna have a lock over here. He can grab the lock, put it on there, close it up. And then we come back with the key to open it and get our box. Mm. Think that'd work? Yeah. So that's going to work. And just in case, me and Steph was, we don't very often get really, really big packages coming in the mail. But just in case, we may later on take some of this, uh, this here and build a little, little square box place here where they can actually set the packages over here. Our main deal is the thieves. So that is the main deal is protecting our stuff. So they're actually coming out. They're going to go to town and get something to eat and they're coming back. So they did a really good job just like always. Um, you know, he is the one that did our, our gates and he didn't actually have to put in this extra plating here, but he did that to make it look good. That's what I like about his work. He's, he does amazing work. So looks good. So it now we're going to go down here and my, my incubator. Yeah, we got to get your incubator stuff going now. Man, it's just always something. And the time we get that done, it's going to be close to time to start our daily routine of going through all the animal feeding. I really didn't get to spend much time with hey, animals power. like I usually do today. So let's see what we can get figured out. All right, guys. So um, we're going to go over here. Look at the guineas. It's about time to feed. We're going to go up here. They're back taking a look at the barn, uh, see what their game plan is, and kind of go from there. Um, super excited guys this is big this is big and i want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching our videos and showing y'all's love and support to our family with y'all doing that that's what allows us to do this kind of stuff so thank y'all so much all right so what he's doing now he's actually this measurement is very very important it ain't nothing like what me and steph was doing with the t-post and stuff laying out this is very important and that's what he's doing right now is getting uh, the layout to where he's going to put the pose and stuff, um, which is pretty neat. Um, he, it's, it's crazy how you learn things. And it's real interesting when you don't know how to do things and you learn new things. It's pretty cool. So we're going to sit back and watch a little bit and uh, kind of go from there. Now, do you have to do that every corner or just one? Oh, okay, that's a pretty neat I'm trick. Do all of them just because, uh, make sure perfect. So that's what he's doing right now. He's measuring three foot one side, four foot the other. He just kind of told me that while ago. That's pretty neat. That three and four should meet five in the middle to make it square. That's pretty cool. It's still so crazy how far 
we had to actually bring the dirt up. I still can't get over that. That's that's wild. But we got it. I mean, it took three or four days, but it worked. There's still like a couple, a little high spot here and there, but time we put the, the um, there's still like a little high spot here and there, but the time we bring rock in and put the rock in, everything's going to level out and look really good. Um, I think the biggest part will be over there on the far side. And we may end up, I might talk to him about that, is getting like a tin horn deal to put underneath there before we put the dirt. That way water can go underneath. That way it doesn't wash out because if we don't, and then we get everything packed in, we may have to go back and do it. I have a bunch of that that three inch or four inch pipe, and I may use that. So we'll see what he thinks about that. All right, guys, so I just come back down the house. I'll pick it up here in a second. We just come back down the house. They're gonna go ahead and make that square and come back tomorrow and set the post and everything. So we'll probably catch up with them on the next video. But, Mr. Kaysen, what you got in your hands there? Incubator. He got him a styrofoam incubator, and we're going to set some what? Eggs. Mouse eggs? No. Chicken eggs. Chicken eggs. We're going to set some chicken eggs. Um, we're going to put them up in the camper. Now, granted, before we go in there, it is uh, a little cluttered now. Please don't judge us on that. I'm sure somebody will. But uh, go ahead and, go ahead and set that right there real quick. And um, Kaysen got Kaysen got a gift in the mail, and he hasn't seen it yet. But we're going to go ahead and do the eggs real quick. Um, no, actually, we're going to walk out here and show him these uh, uh, gift. Y'all seen the one earlier, the the blue shirt? He wanted to put it on, but he has blue pants on. I told him he can wait. So let's come out here and check out this new gift. You excited? Oh yeah. We're going to put up the incubator in just a second, but um, Kaysen got a, two gifts in the mail today. And thank y'all so much for showing y'all's love and support to our kids. We greatly appreciate it. And after that, um, we'll go in and start setting the incubator. He's excited about that. And we're only doing this because the sun's going to be going down. So let's go over here and open it up and see what it is. You excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he said. Wait, is it this big old box? It's that big old box. Yeah, it's that big old box. Uh, I probably think it, uh, another nesting box. Another nesting box. We'll see. Um, we still, we've got to get this back up there. This is a, another one that he had on his wish list. We yesterday. It, yeah, we, we did that in yesterday's video. That's and, easy. Uh, let's uh, open it up and see what it is. Mm. Ready? Yeah. I'm so excited. So excited. You just can't hide it. I don't know how to open it. That's it. <gasps> oh, it sure is, ain't it? Yep. I think that thing is identical to the ones you got. Don't you? Well, it's different. Oh, it's different? Put the black word. Well, let, let's see what the top looks like. Let's 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 open this up. Turn it, see what color it is. Can't even see it. Uh, green. Green. Oh, it sure is. It's identical, ain't it? Same. It's the same. That's awesome, though. That's the way we want to keep all our pins uh, straight. But, but some of them not same. Look. Oh, wait. Yeah, they yeah. are the same. Uh. Um, I'm not for sure who sent this box. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm sure later. we'll see um, a packing label and uh, put this together later. He said, I'll, we'll do this later. He wants to get in there and get them in eggs in the incubator. Um, so let's go in there and get the eggs started. And problem is, we'll put this together tomorrow. Yeah. And you know where we'll put that? What? We'll put it in with the yellow hens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one, because we don't have one for them. Yeah, we'll put it in with them. So we're going to go over here and get this incubator started, guys. Got too many eggs. You got too many eggs? Yeah. And oh. we can, we're can we missing a box, so we use a mom cookie box. Yeah, we're using mom's cookie box, but we're going to put 45 of them in the incubator, I think. We'll see how many it holds. It's been a long time, so I don't know how many it holds. I think it's probably uh, like 
thousand. No, it won't hold no thousand. Or ninety one. It might. It might. So guys, um, this is the RV we used to live in. If you're new to the channel, um, it has changed into a storage building. Um, it has changed into a merch room. This is all the merch we have left. And if you're interested, definitely there's a link in the description box. Go check it out. Um, it is muddy. Yeah, I mean, here's the deal. Um, Steph didn't even want me to come in here and record, but I told her, like, here's the deal. That's our, I mean, we're not living over here. It's just for some reason, um, when you leave this thing uh, closed up for a while, it just attracts dirt and uh, bees. So we're going to put my them, birdie. Yeah. Somebody gave me that. Somebody gave you that bird? I think. And then uh, my other... I don't want here. Oh, yeah. You like them birds, don't you? Oh, yeah. All right. So, we're going to... look like a duck or a chicken. These have been in the shop in, in a box, so we got to make sure everything's good. Um, let me pull this out. Easy, easy, easy. I can't stand to hear styrofoam. We've had these. We've hatched out a lot of quill. Uh, it looks like this one's all put together here. I'm down. All right. So... We're going to go ahead and, it, I, I know it's already set at 99.5. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. You're going to take this off? In case, yeah. And we're going to put the pointed egg down, okay? Like this? Yeah, you take the pointed egg. How about you start on uh, this road, like here, and then I'll start on this road. Okay, okay. The one like here. You need to do. That's the first thing. Okay. Like this? The pointed end down, yes. Oh, get stuck again. Uh. So, these two eggs here, like this egg here, I'm not going to put in there. It's, it's a double oak, you can see. And casin has got another egg that's a lot worse than this one. We're going to set that in right there. Yeah. And you can tell this egg here, it's a probably a first time egg or something. It's real pointed. I've never had any good luck out of them. So uh, we're going to put it up here. This way. And the right side. Yep, yeah, the right size ones. <clears throat> and count them. Count them. You want to count them? Yeah. So you got three, six, seven. So there's seven. 14, 21, 28, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. There is 41 eggs that you put in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the top on it. And make them hatch. Yeah, and it's, I believe it's 21 days. I'm I, I bet it 41 days. It's not 41. It's about 21 days. So what we're going to do is as soon as um, we get out of here we're going to uh, i'll log in on my phone and count 21 days and it'll tell us what day we need to put them on lockdown and we'll be good to go and then you have baby chicks and we'll just have to get an area that we can put the baby chicks huh? i know where to put them where the the deal remember the deal we oh, used to well, have we'll, it in we'll, there we'll have to talk to mama and see if we can put them in the t uh, the camper we'll see no not the in here, I'm talking about that wagon deal. Oh, oh, the deal outside? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so we're going to head up there and get some eggs. And um, we're going to gather them so we can take them up to the expo. Um, so, guys, we're pretty much going to wrap it up for here. Uh, we want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. Um, like I say, we will have, the next video will have uh, the building going on. And basically, it's just our day, daily life. We've had a lot of stuff going on today, and um, it's been a lot of fun. So we're going to go up and gather eggs. Thank y'all so much for... Way up there? Yeah. I haven't checked those. No, we'll go check on that. But we want to thank y'all so much for watching our videos, showing y'all's love and support to our family and animals and farm. Hope each and every one of y'all have a wonderful day. God bless.